Welcome back, everyone. Um, we've got the second match of the day coming up uh, with Yahir El Nawasani from Egypt and uh, Abe Singh, homegrown talent from India. Um, really looking forward to this one, actually. It should be a really good match. We saw Abe play a great match yesterday and, and upset the seedings. And he beat a, play, a French player, um, ben, um, Sebastian Bommelay, ranked at 60 in the world. And now he's playing an Egyptian at 90 in the world, a young Egyptian, though. So that'll be very interesting. He's a very classy player, having got high up in it. Well, he's won the British Junior Open at under 13, under 15, under 17. And unfortunately for him, it didn't happen this year for his under 19 challenge. Um, so I think it should be a fantastic match. So um, welcome Andrew Cross as well. Hi, Andy. Rossi. How are you doing, Chris? You all right? Yeah. Good, thank you. Yeah. Yeah, I'm just saying this would be a really good match, this one. I think it's going to be interesting. I can't really call it. Yeah, I think this is going to be tight. Obviously, yeah, yeah has got a lot of pedigree um, winning all those British Opens. And as you mentioned, they're very unlucky not to get a chance this year to, uh, to wrap up the four titles. He was obviously runner-up in the last edition, which was back in 2020, uh, losing to Mustafa El Surti in the final. Um, and obviously he's coming in a bit of good form because he played a little a final last week in Egypt a couple of weeks ago, losing again to Mustafa El Surti, who you'll see later on there at 2.45. Uh, lost three love in the final, but comes in in a little bit of form. And Abe, as you said, big win yesterday. We'll see if he can back it up today. Yes, it's got to be a very short list of players that have won all the British Junior Opens under 13 through to under 19. Right. Yeah, I, I, yeah, there won't be too and many. He would have been on favourite to do it. Yeah. yeah, he would have been a favourite, yep. And obviously then they're missing out on the Worlds uh, so last year, so... Tough, but I'm sure he comes in and wanting to focus fully now on his professional career and moving up the world ranking. He's up at 92 at the moment, which is good for 19 years old. So let's see how he goes today. Yeah, and Abe himself like looked to be on really good form yesterday, didn't he? So that was um, it was a big upset, and he won three love against a high ranked opponent, high ranked of both of these two. Yeah, big win yesterday. Uh, I, I only caught game three, and he was impressive in from what I saw. Uh, a bit of home court advantage as well, so we'll see if he rises to it. I mean, a bit more practice on this glass court. Definitely a positive start there from Abbey, the first two rallies. Yeah, we saw him yesterday really controlling. He used his hold a lot. Um, you know, he actually brought the pace down and then picked it up again at points. So he was quite clever with his pace variations. He never looked flustered physically, I didn't think. Um, so I, I thought he was quite impressive. But obviously, he's got a different challenge and on the glass court is definitely um, it's another factor, isn't it, to, to think about here. Yeah, it's a bit, di bit different, this glass court. There's a couple of little funny bounces here and then it can zip through. So it's going to be whoever makes that adaption quickly. He's well, made a positive start here, Abby. What stuck out to me yesterday was his composure at the end of uh, at the end of the games, every game I think got to seven all, and from there he won quite convincingly. You know, seven, seven, and eight I think it was, and uh, and it was just the you know he he played the right shot at the right time under pressure a lot of the time. So I was quite impressed with that, and obviously when the pressure everybody has a breaking point, don't they? Though, <laughs> so yeah, we'll see exactly. If, uh, yeah. They can uh, find that.
ref not giving any cheap strokes there initially. No, not, not giving it away. This is what we want. We want to see both of them getting on with it. Oh. That is a pretty nice little counter drop there, isn't it? From quite a big swing, I thought. So deceptive as well. Yeah, the two the two cross courts before that were really good to set it up. They really got Abbe back in the corner, and then it made a lot of distance for Abbe to cover into that front backhand. Probably that's the first time he's really done that so far. Finding his line and his lengths. That's a good shot there from Abbe. shot into the front from the back. It's a pretty controlling rally and some pretty aggressive stuff without being too risky was it? It was it was straight attacks, he was using the side wall pretty well but it was very yeah. positive. Yeah some good margins on the drops as well just to move Abbe in without as you said getting too close to the top of that tin. And then he puts one on top of the tin. That was just to uh, just to frustrate you, that one crossing. <laughs> <laughs> there you go, that's the best that. decision. Oh, a lot of skill in that. What Abbe just did there. Again, a big swing. It was almost like a... A double bluff, wasn't it? Yeah, did well. I just didn't quite get that straight, created the opportunity, it was on a bit of a stretch, just couldn't quite straighten it down the wall. So still a three point lead for Abbe here, thanks to that nice start that he got, but I do feel he has got more into this game as we've gone on, so it's not, not over yet this one. That was a good get. Really quick. Seems to me that they're both looking for very similar patterns of play. They're both taking that ball in straight and short. Yeah, that's good rally that. I mean, yeah, it looked like he was going to go short a few times and pushed another one long just to keep Abbe honest as on the T area, not letting him just go to the front. Then he takes it short. It's big movements. Three big movements. It's a good winner in the front. Yeah, I mean, they've both done similar things, though, haven't they? They've both threatened that aggression and taken it in short with a lot of skill. So they're kind of fighting yeah. over the same pattern, and neither is being at well, you know, in that pattern at the moment. Abbe's having the better of it. So, yep. you know. Either you hear outplays him at that kind of pattern and spends more time in front of him, gets up on the volley a little bit more, he slightly changes something, maybe adds a few more cross courts in or starts killing it a bit harder, for instance. Um, but when you're down three points, something's got to change a little bit, hasn't it? Yeah, that's going to be a stroke. So that is 9 5 now. Yeah, he's got to try and get in front a bit more here. Got a little bit. 
probably going to want to try and work our way in here. I don't want to just give this first game away. Lovely shot. It's just so casual on that. Is it? Yeah, he can, he can hit. It's just so nice when it pops out there in the middle and just twists on it and guide it into that nick. Not the best cross court though, and he got punished there by Abbey. Good start from Abbey. Really good. Like I have been impressed with him yesterday and today so far. I think he's he's played a very attractive brand of squash. You know, I, I like the way he uses the hold at the right times, then gets on the ball early when it's appropriate, and then he's got some real good skills. Take it in short um, without too much risk and enough variation, so it's not predictable. So. I think he's got that balance, you know, spot on at the moment, you know, very few errors. So I've been pretty impressed with him, really. So let's see if he can keep doing that. I think that will, you know, for a non-seeded player to get through to the semi-finals would be a massive result. Yeah, I agree with you. And, and it'd be a massive result for for India squash as well. You know, that's what they're after. This is why they're hosting these big events. You want to see the... The local players moving on to the next round and a very positive start from Abbey. And let's see if we can keep it up in game two. It's going to be interesting to see how the Egyptian player adapts to this situation, being one love down. Slightly losing that battle of uh, quality at the back and structure of the first game. And my bet is that he's going to come out and play with a higher intensity and be a little bit more patient. Yeah, he's had some chances. Um... Uh, but Abbe has just been in front a little bit too much at the moment. And as you said, he's just got a little bit. He's been good with his variations. I feel like Yeha's probably getting sucked in a little bit too straight almost. So, yeah, I think I think he needs to change some angles here. Yeah, he's, he's done quite well with the cross guards. He's forced a few loose ones off a cross. Um, but Abbe is kind of getting him down the walls a bit and keeping it nice and straight. <laughs> Testing rally this. Really hard, yeah. Nice to have those different camera angles actually at the front. Shows that explosiveness of movement, doesn't it, into the front. Yeah, it's, it's good. It's, this is a good rally to start the third, to start the second. I think Yeha will be, be happy with this to start. Yeah, I would have got no like there. I think he just ran into the back of Yeha. There was no real attempt to get around. It was almost like a bit like a boxer just holding on a bit there. Yeah. Well, on that hard first rally produces something different from Abe cross court nick attempt. And those are the little <laughs> signs that Elnar Sani will be looking for. He just wants to get into him a bit physically here. But that is a tight ball yeah, by Abe. Picks up another point, can slow the rhythm down a little bit. Back to where he wants it. Right. 
Yeah, I think yeah, I was going to want to try and get a few hard rallies in nice and early here. Oh. That's, That's a great lovely boast. Job. Lovely hold. I mean, that set up from previous rallies, isn't it, where he's held it and then snapped it cross court, and then you've yep. just got somebody on their heels, and then chucking that quick cut boast. Yeah, I felt that was a double. Look, yeah, double from here. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I was saying he thinks he was good. Well, they've yeah, agreed to play that, and that's very good, actually. Yeah, well done there, yeah, that's, that's good of you. There was no messing around with that either, it was it? He just made up his mind, there we go, we're playing a let. <laughs> I'll score yeah. this one for you, ref. Yeah, it was good of him. Oh, that could be a stroke. That's a yeah, feed, that. Yeah, Good shot from Ave. He's managed to make sure that, that that volley went straight down the wall there, didn't catch the side wall at the, at the box area and just ran away a bit. Again, no, very honest. Were there. No, yeah. just getting on with it. It's great. Another tough rally here. Some big movements in these rallies. Yeah. Oh, both I using the, the extremes of the courts. So the drops are going right in at the front as well, you know, they're not coming back. Yeah, very accurate play. And I think particularly when you know Abe's got a bit of time, he is really accurate. He's got multiple threats and holds, and he really does remind me of a Bunch of Pontefract players, it's no surprise, is it, Grossi? <laughs> <laughs> no, tough not rally, really, though. mate. Yeah, it's tough, and he's, he's got a good winner out of it. He's built himself a three-point lead. I mean, we we talked earlier about that rally there at the first, which, yeah, I probably wanted to get into him. Um, but he's recovered well, and he's, he's playing well here, Abbey. But, yeah, Mal Malk's got those holds into him. Yeah, well, I think, uh, I was saying yesterday, um, I think the forehand's got a, a bit of a um, Sam Todd look about it. If actually as well, a bit Surav, isn't it? So Surav's got some holes yeah. at the top of his swing, very similar. Um, just in the style, I mean, the grip and the sort of relaxation through the hips and everything like that. Whereas, uh, and the way you know, James the way Wilshock has always got to be the one to copy on the backhand, hasn't he? Whenever the ball yeah, the sits the up off the back wall. Yeah, just the way the drops are going in on the backhand as well. And he's, he's managed to open up as well, that's up to eight two now. He's just really running away with this at the moment. Right. Everything going yeah. his way. Yeah, he's not missing at the moment. 
gonna need a gonna need a little bit of a reset here, yeah. Huh? This is not the way you probably wanted it to go. He didn't look interested really by the end, did he? The Yeha, so that no, takes out really too, very convincing. Yeah, well, all the momentum at the moment is with Abbe, and uh, if he can get a really good start in this third, it's going to make life very, very difficult. There's some tough rallies yeah, there at the start of this. Here. What, what yeah. would you say? Uh, the Egyptian player should be should be doing here. I mean, what would you be advising him to to change, Crossy? Oh, I would be looking for him not to play as straight as probably what he is doing at the moment. You know, Abbe uh, loves it down the walls. You know, he'll be been practicing plenty of that when he was in Pontefract. So I'll be wanting to mixing it up a bit, getting a few more cross courts in, probably trying to twist him a little bit more. I mean, he's got some great shots to the front, yeah. Huh? Um, but I would say he's probably wanting to hit a few lower cross courts and then try and cut across on the volley on the next one. Just try and un 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 unsettle Abbe a little bit. And obviously, if you're in Abbe's corner, you're going to be saying, just keep it going. Keep keep everything everything you're doing at the moment is, is perfect. Yeah, it's been fantastic, like structured, accurate squash with, you know, set patterns of play, which he's dominating. And I think, uh, you know, you don't want to change anything from that point of view. I think that that initial phase of that second game there where the Egyptian player just tried to up the pace. You know, Abe just held on. He was patient, wasn't he? He didn't, he didn't get too flustered again and, and uh, he was prepared for that. So if... That's that's a good tactic if you can sustain it for a whole match. But I think just El Nawasani just needs to change something he's doing here. Slow it down, change the angles, use some hold himself. Uh, it's just not getting a look in at the moment though. I mean it's a great shot from, from Abbe from the back. That's too, it's too good, that. It's too good, isn't it? He's, he's, he's looking very, very sharp here. And I've got to say, like, physically, he looks in great shape as well, doesn't he? He looks, you know, he hasn't put a foot wrong, really. Yeah, Quick, he's look, retrieving some yeah. balls. You know, he doesn't look at all fatigued in his match yesterday or today. Looks like he's, he's pushing up well. He's, yeah, getting on the volley as well. He's controlling the pace, although that's gone yeah I just probably got talking to himself a little bit there trying to get himself up and motivated a bit was that the first real error we've seen from Abbe so far in these first two and a bit games I don't remember another one really. Yeah, I can't, can't recall one. It's a lovely length as well. It's a great shot. Yeah, took that on the half volley, gave it the full works, didn't he? Found a dying oh, length, I mean, you can't ask for much more. 
He's got himself back in here. Again, another nick at the back. Is this the first time he's lead in the game? Yeah, I think so. I think this is the first time he's he's had a lead. Here we go. Let's see if we can see if we can put a few points together. Just pops one out in the middle of the court there, which was finished well by by Abe. few little shouts just trying to G himself up get a little bit of intensity and a bit of movement into things that could be interesting well, I think that is a stroke he's walked into the path there isn't he yeah I, I would have probably given a stroke there the refs have just given a let Fantastic drop shot. Yeah, that is a high skill shot that on a dipping ball to be able to get your strings underneath it from a big swing. It's really tough. If El, El Nawasani gets this rally, this will make it interesting, I think. And I'd like to see how Abe then reacts under pressure. Yeah, he's had kind of everything his own way so far in the first two games. And this is the real bit of resistance that he yeah, has been looking for. That was a little bit cl too close for comfort, almost. Just the, didn't need that, you know. That's a big rally. That if it gets to seven, seven four, that would have been a good lead to hold in this third. But back to one point in it. Oh yeah, I told you the previous one was close. And yeah, it's been coming. It's been coming. That hasn't it. There's not much that the ref can do really there, is there? I mean, that's come out a no, long it's... way wide. He's going for a cross court. So I think there's a both really. He's one player shouldn't be stepping across as much and one player probably shouldn't be... Well, you can't really say they shouldn't be hitting cross courts from there, but... Um, so yeah, just a tricky previous... situation, isn't it? Yeah, the one in the previous rally was a little bit close and then that one, that could be a stroke. Yeah, yeah, it just came back a bit too far. It was a nice cheer from Abe to try and convince the ref that it was a good winner, but just not <laughs> quite convincing enough. Well, the intensity has gone up here and the length of the rally has gone up as well. This is obviously, in both their minds, a huge point. Well, that could oh. be interesting because that stayed very short.
I've given a let. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that was, that was a tough one because I could have gone any, any decision because it stayed very, very short. Good work here. Why are you here? Yeah, it's almost a little bit uh, that, that back wall burst. If he might have got there a little bit quicker and and dropped it, might have been the end of the rally. But the, yeah, it's good rally this. Loose one that should be a stroke. Is the tactical towel? Yeah, you always need that after a tough rally. Yeah, I was wanting to get on with it. You can probably see that Abby might be feeling it after that rally. Oh, he's guessed right there. Unbelievable skid across the court there by the young Egyptian. Big movements. I guess again. This is hard. This is hard. It still looks okay though, oh, Abbe. Abbe is starting for the first time. He hasn't. He, he's not getting frustrated, but he does look a little bit more off off his toes. Maybe his accuracy is not quite so deadly now. Uh, he's just taking it from a little bit further from behind him. Whereas in the first two, he's probably racing up onto those. Just give that away at the end of the end of the third. Yeah, that's interesting. I don't, I, I don't think he should be doing that. Really, I don't think he should be giving his opponent such obvious signs that he's physically suffering there. Um, but I mean, it's hard, isn't it? It's hard to to keep up that poker face kind of body language. But there's the way in here now. This this could be interesting. This next match, if or this next game, if uh, you here can keep it out of the tin, keep the error rate down, keep the intensity up, then he definitely knows that he's got a physical way in here. So, yeah, quite an interesting game coming up. Yeah, I mean, if, you, if you're talking to the young Egyptian at the moment, you'd be saying, look, he's, he's probably feeling it a little bit here, so the work that you've put in so far has been good, and he's, he's straight back onto court. You know, so he, it's positive signs for him here to get make his way back into the match. And if he makes a good start in this fourth, you'd say things might be just turning in his favour. The momentum might just be with him a little bit more. So, yeah, ran away with those last five points at the end of the game there from six all. And uh, I think Abe just needs to come back on and be a little bit sharper with his racket work straight away. And... Uh, convert a few of those rallies because I feel that the onus is on him now really to disrupt this rhythm now and he has definitely got into a, a good rhythm himself and this this is the matchup that we wanted to see really yeah it's been a good quality game so far and that's exactly what we want we want to see some good quality squash uh, Abbe is obviously he's going to find some answers here now uh, Yesterday, you say he's got to six all both times and he managed to win it. This is probably what, the first time he got to six all and lost one. Yeah.
so to one last time, we are more in blue with this space. Good start. It was just the start he wanted. And that's a lovely drop, isn't it? I think um, Abbe's come on with positive intent here as well, isn't he? He's come on and looked to play a couple of shots. Now, you know, maybe you got that wrong in the previous rally. It was one too early, but that was quality. Yeah, and again, taking it in nice and early. and Just got tight and at exactly the right time, didn't it? Yeah. <laughs> looked like he was... From that front angle, it looked more of a stroke, but obviously not from the back. Yeah, I was I was convinced that was a stroke. <laughs> yeah, just from that front angle, yeah. Whips around that burst again. That's going to be a stroke. Accurate hitting again there from Abbe. Yes, he's got himself back in again here now. As he, as he just, you know, take from six all in the, the third and then since five and then he lost the opening two rallies, seven rallies in a row. Things just not quite looking, but he's got himself back into it the last two. Yeah, a crucial couple of points mentally. A few more going cross from Abe here. Seems to be wanting to, on his forehand, turning yeah, into that backhand a bit more. Not really much straight going on from Abe down the forehand side. Careful there. You can imagine when you're playing, um, you hear that, you know, when you, it's, it's just a barrage of short hard hit low lengths isn't it that that you just have to sort of sustain really I wouldn't like to be on the sort of wrong end of that <laughs> just gonna be doing so much work and he really doesn't need to take it short that often when he's on top of someone yeah he's, he's I've seen him play the British juniors before he can just steamroll through people it's just again and a couple of cheap errors from Abir you don't really want to give the momentum to away here because he had it in the first two. Oh, that's a better volley drop. That's a lovely shot, isn't it? Yeah, we need a bit of fight from him here, really. I think that he's been very controlling. Now he's physically not having it his way. This is the time he's he's got to step step this up. Nice time for a cross court back of the box, Nick. A nice little hold and cross. better from Abbe, I think, just getting his opponent deeper in the court. As soon as you leave one short, he's all over it. He takes it incredibly early on the rise, doesn't he? Yeah. Yeah, he's good. He's, he's, it's non-stop pressure. We, we, not, well, not only him, but with most of the Egyptians, you know, they're so aggressive on the ball when, when you leave anything short that you just end up doing 
so much extra running just like this extra power down the line you see he's not messing around anymore he's straight to the box wanting to get on with it he doesn't want to take, give any time for Abbe to recover but that is a fantastic cross court Nick <laughs> <laughs> very, very casually done that, wasn't it? Yeah. That's the change in body language from the first two games to this game here. Absolutely huge. Everything's going short now. Nope. Yes. So he's read him pretty well from that front back end. Abe, he's guessed quite a lot of cross court and he's usually been there waiting for the volley. Tough angle that for us to see. That is not what Abe wanted, is it? Uh, He's feeling that's this. A, yeah, that's not the reaction he probably wanted either. Just giving some extra confidence to the young Egyptian here. Who's, yeah, the last two rallies of the last two games, he's just kind of not put up any resistance. Well... It's amazing how much that has changed, really, isn't it? Quite quickly, um, from Abe being in seemingly complete control, and if anything, the Egyptian player was um, mentally struggling in the first couple of games. I mean, look at that scoreline in the second game, 11-2, and he just went through him. And then we saw the change in physicality and tactics from you hear El Nawasani, lengthen the rally. He's got much more patient, cut down the error rate and started to get into Abe physically and then it deteriorated quite quickly I felt there really and the third game was never really in, uh, sorry the fourth game was never really in too much doubt so it'd be interesting to see if uh, Abe's got a big one big push left in him here in the fifth game and he needs to do it at the start of the fifth game he can't be he can't be waiting for this he can't be hope, like hoping expecting it to go four or five all and then push no, he's got to push right to start. So, um, big game here. Yeah, I agree with what you've said there. It comes a big game and he's got to try and get the body language right here when he enters this fifth game. You know, I've been having lost the last two. Probably the first few points are going to be super important. The way, he's, the way he walks into court here and it's taking a bit of extra time. Right, this guy's last 30 seconds to get some, some breath. All the momentum here is with the young Egyptian. Fantastic half volley backhand drop. What a shot. It was almost like a bit of top spin on that as well from uh, <laughs> on the backhand side. Absolutely beautiful. Top. It was good because he didn't he didn't have a hit when he went in, he just went straight into return serve and he's just nailed two <laughs> backhand drops.
so quick to get that back. Yeah, tough rally again with the backhand drop. And again, cutting off that cross guard. I, I'm not sure I would have Yeah, done that I think like the refs are penalising the movement off the ball there from Abe. So he's played his yeah. volley drop and then moved into the line of his opponent a bit there. I think if he'd have just given him the access to get through, he, I'm not sure he would have got there either. Because he took the cross well, early. Well, to be honest, I don't know after the previous recovery shot. <laughs> Incredibly <laughs> quick. Bit lucky to get a let there, I felt. Yeah, I felt that was a good drop. I felt that stayed tight and just probably should have gone down the left hand side to go in and yeah, get Yeah, I'd agree. I'd agree. There's a danger here that Abe becomes too predictable in these drops, though. You know, because he, he's got some reward for it, but he's taking it on every single time he gets the opportunity, and it takes away some of the. Uh, some of the sort of doubt, doesn't it? There, it becomes a bit predictable for the Egyptian player. Yeah, uh, that's that's good though. That's across the up. middle, strong. Took his took his space well and hit that low forehand drive. Well, this is what Abe needed. He needed something here, some some high quality shots. This has gone a little bit more like, a bit like the second, almost. Just nice, short, sharp rallies from Abbe. Big lead, big, big push from him here. <laughs> this, is, uh, this. this is unbelievable, really, how this has swung so wildly. He's got that spring back in his step, you know, and you see he's just jumping on everything at the moment. See, he looked... He looked pretty tired by the end of the fourth. He was um, he was down and out, wasn't he? <laughs> yeah. Unless this is like Muhammad Ali rope a dope. Yeah, he's done really well here to get back into this, and he's looking back on his toes and looking for things around the middle of the court. Oh, that I way, just think it. amazing, and it shows the the impact the scoreboard has on your. Um, demeanor, you know, and if you took yep. took the score, scoreboard away and were thinking positively, you might not be slumped and you might not be thinking about desperation shots, you know, and it's happened for both players in this match a lot. When they've been down, they've looked physically tired. Well, I, at the moment, he, I bet he can't miss. <laughs> He's just... Everything's coming in. It's staying nice and short. And you're right. The scoreboard thing has been a massive, massive factor. Oof. Might have to weather a storm here from. I don't know, Asani's gonna. This is could be a, a big rally here. If he can put some work into him here, he might be back in it. Seeing that there have been big strings of points. This surely is his last chance if he goes 8 2 down. Yeah, you would say the momentum has really swung back to Abbey and he'd be looking. For a few more quick drops to finish it off if he gets to 8 2. But yeah, he's not going to get a let for that. No. Again, just looking a little bit tired there, trying to get into that uh, tactical court clean. <laughs> oh. 
Now he's going to be, he's going to need to switch on here for the serve. Because I'm sure Abbe is going to be wanting to try and take it in nice and short after, off, after this quick break. He's going to be looking for a quick return of serve shot. Interesting, he's changed sides to get away from that backhand drop. He'd love a cheap point here, wouldn't he, Abbe? Yeah. I'm looking for it. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that was a very big look for it. Well, oh, he's got it. That's well played. How's this That's a big match rally. got one more, one more swing in it? <laughs> this is, uh, I really don't know. It's 7-2, you'd say. That should be over. But just the case that there's been some massive strings of points both ways. And Abe's definitely feeling it. Yes. Oh, that's another one. Oh, back to 5-7. Yeah, that's three in a row. Yeah, it's getting tight again. He's looking for the court clean again. He might just go down the road and get a better cleaner. And a good <laughs> solid, solid break. He's go buy a new a, mop. A, yeah, he's picked up a mop this time. Hasn't really got a target area there, has it? No, there's, there's, it just seems to be a little bit random, doesn't it? Just going on a one there. Well, huge points now. Four points away from the match is just... It, when you're fresh, it seems so easy, and when you're tired like this, it seems a million miles away, doesn't it? Yeah, and the other thing is, he just lost a little bit of that quick momentum that he had, and he, yeah, has put him on some tough rallies. That's a good one for him, though. Yeah. Now he's down. Now he's down to three. That is the case. You're just counting them off, aren't you? Here. Yeah, you don't. You want them to come nice and quick and easy, but you know that's just not going to be the case. Oh, oh went for oh, it. Could have missed it. That. Had time to set himself. Yeah. That's the first one he's missed in this game, I think. Apart from that forehand drop which he tried to lift onto the front of the court. 6-8. It's just catching side walls a little bit. Uh, I agree with that. Movement. Both Abe's points have come from lengths which are just too short from here. Like he, that is his issue, I suppose. When he's on top of someone and hitting those short of a length, attacking lengths, then uh, it's fine when you got someone on the back foot. But twice there, he's left it too short and he's been shut out. Yeah. Yeah, that's a let. That's not a stroke. Yeah, that's a, that's a pretty basic let, that one. <laughs> yeah, nice. A little safety let there just after the previous hit.
Neither player giving anything away here, are they? Oh, it's, it's, it's tense. No one's really going short. They're both trying to work an opening in the back. Those three shot rallies have disappeared. Yeah, I felt I felt that ball was in front and it was like looking for the young Egyptian behind him. It's not an easy decision that one. That could have easily been a stroke really. Yeah. But I felt that was the right decision. Nice yeah, shot, I felt that nice was shot. And backhand stayed nice and short. I bet I had to go all the way up there to try and get it. Again, serving from the left. Change. Well, we said at the beginning this was a really tough match to call, and it's still quite tough. Yeah, it's, I mean, at 7 2, you would have probably gone with Abe, but he's another twist in the tail in this match. and yeah, I was back in it. He's probably physically looking a little bit better than Abe here. Although that is a good drop. Oh. What a shot. Another another short length and Abe's all over it. Oh he's gone for a walk. First match point. <laughs> he's gone for a walk. <laughs> Settle himself, compose himself before this rally. He'd love this first time. No cheap ones. You don't want somebody coming back at you here. It's a horrible feeling to be losing match balls. Done well there, Abby. It's a big chance. Big chance. Oh, he's got it. And there we go. Well, that is a fantastic result for Abbey Singh. Really uh, big result. <laughs> well, that's nice to see him celebrate. You know, it's a, it's a huge result to get the semi final unseeded. He's taken out two players ranked in the top 100 above him in the world rankings. You know, and he, he wants to make a big move. It is home club this is where he started you know his professional journey in Chennai and uh, brilliant result there and a very exciting match as well Crossy yeah hugely exciting match very entertaining obviously we thought Abbe looked like he was going to win it in three when he steamrolled through the second and he had all the momentum but the young Egyptian he's fought back and he looked like he was going to steamroll through the through the fifth initially when uh, when he looked like he'd won the, all those points at the end of the third and at the end of the fourth, but very good start in the fifth from Abbey. If we see here, you know, he got to 6 1 and then he led 7 2 before the young Egyptian came back into it. But a great match and, you know, well done for Abbey. And as you mentioned, an unseeded player in the semi finals, big tournament, $20,000. Um, so huge points for him to move up in the world rankings and he'll be very happy with his week so far and more to come. Yeah, so on court next because that was quite a long match. I presume we'll follow on once the court's been cleaned um, to Indian girls uh, playing in the quarterfinals there. So uh, I'll be back for that. We'll both be back, won't we, Crossy, on the next one? Yeah, we're both, we're both back for this one, mate. Okay, excellent. I'll see you in five minutes then. All right, mate. See you soon. Cheers.